Welcome guys. So a couple of weeks ago I finished most of the work on this kitchen here for our tiny houseboat project and those of you who follow along know how much work I put into this and considering how much work is still left this is probably going to take at least another year before it's going to be complete. So I thought a couple of months ago it would be kind of nice to enjoy the boat life a little bit earlier especially with the summer months coming up. After browsing through the internet and going on Facebook Marketplace, I quickly realized there's really nothing out there that fits my budget. Now, even if you're willing to accept an old rotten boat from the 70s with a musty stench, then you still have the cost of the trailer, the insurance, and then of course you need something that is powerful enough to tow all of that. Now, currently I don't own a truck and I don't have the funds to make all of this happen, so long story short, I need a boat that can fit in our minivan, has enough space for two, ideally you can even sleep on it so you can stay somewhere over the weekend, and all of that under my budget of $2,000 Canadian. And that has to include the motor because I'm too lazy to pedal. And that is when I started to look into inflatable pontoons that somehow can be mounted on the multi-piece platform. Now the hardest part about this was to find them for a reasonable price found this one company in the States who produces them, but they wanted a $1,900 Canadian without the shipping. So that would have swallowed my budget right there. So I was forced to look around further and then I found another company on Alibaba. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this correctly, so I'm just going to put the name up there. And I was a little bit nervous about this. I never ordered anything on Alibaba before. But uh, let me tell you, those guys were absolutely fantastic. There was great communication going on and they realized every single customization that I threw at them from the length of the tubes, the color, the um, amount of D-rings and the position of them, the reinforcements at the top and the bottom, the shape of the ends and an end. And all of that for only $375 Canadian plus $250 shipping. So that's only $625. Now let me remind you that's a thousand three hundred dollar cheaper than the company in the states and on top of that they used a more heavy duty material with 1.2 millimeter pvc instead of 0 0.9 so if you're in the market for something like that i really highly can recommend this company um, just be aware that the shipping might take a couple months after all it has to cross the north pacific ocean in a container ship and in my case it just took six weeks and they did deliver right to the doorstep all right, now that this was figured out, I could start working on a platform. Let me show you what I did there. As so often, I use lumber that I milled myself, and to line up the individual platform pieces, I just use one inch dowels that I cut from an old broomstick. Now each of the floor segments is six foot long by two and a half feet wide and only two and a half inch thick.
All right, now with the platform pretty much done, I could work on the arches for the cover. I'm using some pieces of scrap plywood and a screw to give me an anchor point to mark the arch with a string on a piece of plywood. And once I had an idea of how the arch is going to look like, I could use a smaller but thicker piece of plywood to make myself a jig. Alright, I did a couple things off camera, but this is pretty much the result. This is the volume of the entire boat packed up, and as long as you can fit this in your van, car, truck, whatever you have, you're good to go. Now let's break this down real quick. So we got four pieces that make up the platform. Then there are of course the inflatable tubes, the framing for the top cover, and two super comfortable seats. Then we got a battery box that I built off camera, entirely made from scraps, and it contains two deep cycle batteries. Then two paddles, they just help you to push yourself away from the shore or even to land on shore. Also, they are the backup in case the motor fails. Then we got a box with swim rests, an anchor, LED light strings, the good old duct tape, some pliers, rope and the tarp for the cover. And then of course we got an electric trolling motor. This one is a new port with 62 pound of thrust. Alright, now let's do a test setup. Now that boat is ready for action and before I show you that, let me go real quick through how much I spent on it. As I mentioned earlier, we got the $625 for the inflatable tubes, 
We got shocking $250 for plywood. I know plywood those days is not cheap anymore. Um, we have $400 for two deep cycle batteries, $400 for the electric trolling motor, and roughly $300 for all kinds of things from paints to screws, hardware like those pull latches, rope, duct tape, some top grommets, and an end. Now, all of that leaves me with just under $2,000. And I know there's a lot of potential for upgrades in the future, so I might make a video about that, so watch out for that. As always though, thank you for watching and now let me finally show you the boat in action.